Hello everyone, and welcome once more to Howler for an Hour. We're finishing off this night's Howler with Grapple Dog. This is a 2D platformer that involves a lot of grapple mechanics and saving the world, and also you're a dog, and this is adorable. I love the art style. This caught my attention almost immediately the moment I saw it. Uh, asked about a key on Keymiller. They were out of switch keys, that's what they were given, and I asked about a Steam key, and they were able to do that, though. So, I have a Steam key now, which is great. This game is a bop already with this music, holy crap. This music honestly makes me think of the Game Boy Dance. Specifically, I kind of I kind of get I kind of get Wario Land 4 vibes a little bit. I, I feel I feel very Game Boy Advance from this, and that is not a bad thing. But anyways, before we fully begin, if you like the video, do think about giving a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner, and I'd love to make this year the year we do it. But for that, I need more viewers. So, if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, well, think about doing it. We would be happy to have you. Also, I have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out, and I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. All links are in the description, so please check them out at your leisure. Now this, yes, I, I get very Game Boy Advance, like the music too. Music fills Game Boy Advance quality about. Like a little more high fidelity, but about the same. Yeah, this game immediately exudes charm. Let's see where it goes with it. Also, another thing I noticed when I was looking at the options earlier, You can hide the HUD. Okay, after some time, yeah. Aim arrow. Or, yeah, the dog's named Pablo, I think. Uh, but also, I know it's like, you turn off screen shake, you can turn off hit pause, particles, weather. But you also get accessibility stuff. No damage. Infinite jump. Backgrounds. How, how much background is displayed? If they're static or flat. These are really great settings for those that are impaired or just have trouble certain things. Uh, it's nice to see accessibility features like this in games. It's, it's honestly nice. Uh, but anyways, let's begin. Let's see what the story is like. This one, honestly, is probably the one I was most excited about today. Of the games we had. Alright, what do we got? Hundreds of years ago, the people of Partash lived in hunger and hardship. Then one day, the great inventor appeared. Using his genius intellect, he built wonderful devices to help the people. In turn, those who lived in Partash came to adore him like a king. However, one day a great evil emerged, jealous of the inventor. Since that a final attack was imminent, the inventor made plans to protect his people. He scattered the four cosmic gadgets across Partash, where evil could never find them. After that, the great inventor was never seen again. Ever since then, treasure hunters have searched far and wide for the inventor's devices. Some hope for riches, some for glory, and some hope to unlock the secrets of the past. Hmm. Hey, hey, that's a rat. Yes, everything's furry here, I believe. Here's our little crew, I guess. I love the paw. I love the paw transition. That is wonderful. Alright, what do we got? So we have found the statue towards the inventor. Erected for the inventor, I assume. Alright, the music is just solid. And honestly, this art style is just... I love that, that popped out border of, around the character. It's really nice. Ooh. Sorry, I'm just I'm just jiving to this music. Kind of sounds almost like something I hear in PMD. Oh, robot. Sad robot. Um. Sad robot is throwing a tantrum. Oh no! Ow. Ow. Hello. Ouch! What happened? All the barking sounds! The 
Intruder alert! State your reasons for trespassing! Engage your laser beam attack! That is adorable. That is fucking adorable. Nah, stop! Don't shoot! Please, I don't want to die from a laser! Zap! Kapow! Blambo! Ah, <laughs> don't worry, fella, I'm just kidding around. Every thousand years stuck down here, I needed a laugh. Wait, we're stuck down here? My friends are probably worried sick. Oh, calm down, fella. It's not the end of the world. Not yet, anyway. How about you follow me and I guess both out of here? Really? That'd be great, thanks. Okay, jump. Bouncy old wall. Oh, wait, hold on. And... Dash after a number... After a certain distance, you can dash. Hmm. Also, why did Foskey go owl? Oh, because of the attack, I guess. Is the volume still good, by the way? If I say it next to a wall, the wall jump away from it. Got a name, fella? What's a dog like you doing in a place like this? Oh, my name's Pablo. You're looking for some kind of treasure. Something made by the great inventor? The professor can explain a lot better. I wasn't really listening. Treasure, you say? Well, today's our lucky pa day, Pablo. See that big chest over there? It's got something you gotta use to get us out of here. I don't open it myself, but I haven't got the uh, right tools. Tools? You mean like a screwdriver? Uh, mo no, more kind of like hands. I haven't got any hands. Good point. I guess I'll go open it then. By the way, since you asked for mine, what's your name? Me? Mm, I haven't used my name in a long, long time. Not since before I was trapped that fell down here. But I guess you can call me Noel. I mean, if you even want to, if you even want to. It's nice to meet you, Noel. Now let's get this chest open. Trapped. <laughs> Hands. It is an item. Heck yeah. I like how the top part spins. For sex to throw the grapple. Yay! Yeah. Makes sense. Good momentum physics. Not only the dog will talk, but you notice we also just make remarks now and then when we're moving around. Ruff! <laughs> it's a little rough bark. Good times. Okay, Vela. Now we gotta open this big door here. Use that gravel to explore and try to find a switch. I don't know. That big X in the door is giving me do not open vibes. Bob, you're gonna have to trust me on this. We need to open that door, fella. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll go look for that switch. What? Hmm. Suspicious. So it's on blue that we can grapple, basically. Yeah, this is very sus. Something a bit off about this. Yes, we go. Looks like a body. Yes! <laughs> yes! No, what is this place? What are you doing? Oh, Pablo. I, uh... Well, I mean... I'll just say it over here real quick. Don't bite me. Okay. Oh, 
Hello, Pablo. You have no idea what you've done. After all this time, I'm restored to my full power. Now I'm free. Free to search for the cosmic gadgets once again. All thanks to you, fella. If you want my advice... Run! <laughs> Hi, Chris. There are several reasons for it. Keep holding to run. Got it. I it does look very good. Oh, you fool. You've let out their ultimate evil. All it cost us was a grapple. Hello. Drown. That's much better than dying. <laughs> Drowning is much better than dying. That's a problem. That's not very nice. Interesting how the Avenger built things and this seems to be a robot evil guy. Finally, I can finish what I started. Everything will burn. Hmm. But it's interesting, because the inventor built stuff, so did he build the robots that are evil as well? Oh. What happened to Pablo? Is he hurt? He was in the water. All these voices are cute. I was in the water. I pulled him out as fast as I could. Pablo, please be okay. Look, Tony, he's waking up. Oh, hello. Pablo, I'm so glad you're awake. We were really worried about you. Are you okay? Nope. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm a little cold. We lost you back there. What happened? So, I fell down a hole. Sophia was very worried. I agree. And then I jumped in the water to get away. And then I woke up and you asked me what happened. And then I don't know what happens next because that's now. <laughs> it is now. Pablo, focus! You say that you obtained some sort of grappling advice? Show me right away. That's all I really care about, not the, the ultimate evil thing. Whoa, cool! The aerodynamics are incredible. Forget that Ariel Watson, this is a creation of the Great Inventor. It's a priceless artifact. I must study it for my book on the inventor. <laughs> Professor, don't say something about the cosmic gadgets? Yes, that raises quite a few questions. What does Null hope to achieve by gathering them, I wonder? Hmm, I've tried to remember my research on the subject. We know the great inventor scattered the cosmic gadgets, but no one knows their exact purpose. There are theories. They could power an enormous machine. Or wake a monster. Or contact space aliens. Regardless, we know when they are gathered, they'll reach enough energy to damage the fabric of reality. What? Is that bad? <laughs> that amount of energy could destroy the entire world. What? That is bad! Oh, Pablo, you're such a dog. I love it. <laughs> like, you need to explain a little extra because you're a puppo. That settles it. We have to get the cosmic gadgets, stop no, and save the world. I'm with you, Pablo. I'll help you with whatever you need. Hmm, Pablo. For more historical researches than world savers. Uh, well. If there's no world when you finish your book, nobody will be there to read it. Hmm, uh, fair point. Alright, I suppose I'll come with you then. Great, let's go. <laughs> Alright, cool. So we have boat. Oh wow, it's 3D! That's adorable! I wasn't expecting actual 3D graphics for look at this. That's cool. Oh, that's such a great... This is so well, the art style. Alright, let's start level 1. There's all sorts of things in level 1. Look at all the thingies. Is that a metal? Okay, I guess we'll see how this works. Play stage. Onset, outset mountain. Okay, let's do it. Oh, 
All right, so we're picking up fruit. These songs were the- I love the voice clips of these songs. And if, if we idle, look at our little mop we do. That's good. I appreciate that. Wait, let's add animation. Hold on. Ah, cute. This music is just good. I don't know, it's really, really funky sound. Oh, right. I sure wanted to slide that all the way. Whoops. I'm gonna try to grab everything to figure out what we need to grab at every level. Hi, Blink again. Hello. Hey, have you seen an evil robot around here? Well there, buddy. Evil's a pretty loaded term. Oh, right. Have you seen, uh, just any kind of robot around here? Yeah, sure, there's a bunch of horrible, scary robots up this way. Horrible, scary, maybe not evil, let's not assume. Wonder. No. Okay. Head check. I was looking around exploring. There's clearly like optional stuff to do in these levels, so I'm gonna look around all over the place. I really love how much momentum you can gather, but just swing it a little bit. Ah, I was right. Let me try something. There we go. Nice. Very nice. I did miss some stuff, but... I'm still... I'm trying to understand the range of the grapple, actually. Like... Oh, that's actually pretty far, actually. Okay, cool. Like the grapple balloons, I was wondering how close I have to be to grab them. The answer is not very close at all. This is great. I'm actually surprised Hyper hasn't made any comments. He loves Wireland 4. He would probably dig this, at least some of the aesthetic here. I'm actually not a big fan of it. Ah, oh, Pablo, I wanted to tell you about this purple gym over here. Oh, is it the sort of thing I shouldn't touch? Like the toaster? No, you really do need to stop doing that. What does he do with the toaster? <laughs> According to my research, these gems were used by the great inventor to override robotic signals. Perhaps if we were to collect enough, we would clear the way to further islands. Apparently there are five hidden in each stage, so make sure to look for them. I found two then. Ah, it's just, it's like red coins, got it. Whoa, hold on. I saw that. Thank you, Shen. Oh no, robot. I wasn't even paying attention. Evil robot. Discovered. Dog bone. Health fixed. Or more dog biscuit, but you know. 
even better. So there are secret walls. Lesson learned from that one little example. Also, there are one-way gates. I, I do want to be thorough in a section before moving on. Good night, Tara. Assume that means you want carrot. See what I can do about that. Ow. I like how the only thing that stops the bop is getting hurt, so you're encouraged not to get hurt for that reason alone. Okay, that's a checkpoint. I'm going back. There's definitely some exploration to be had in, this, in these levels. It's not here. The carrot. Out of Philly. There we go. Good eats. Oh, thank you. Cool, I got another gem for that. He's enjoying his carrot. <laughs> Good. I like how they're raising the stakes for section to section. It's good. Wait, hold on. Oh, I can... I can also grapple somebody, basically. Not all of them, it seems, but some of them. Pondering. Hmm. Maybe I have to go around, actually. Looks like I might have to. Yep. Oh, I don't actually have to ground pound them. I thought I did. Damn it. <laughs> Curses. A pox upon you. Oh well. Uh. Thank you. There's <laughs> something that have finicky type lighting on him. Tony, what are you doing here? Oh, hey, Pablo, it's nice to see you. I'm using my analyzer to study this strange object. According to my readings, it's wirelessly connected to a network of localized teleportation devices. I'm not following. 
collect this coin and you'll unlock a bonus level in the overworld. Neat, huh? That is neat! I love collecting shiny things. Pablo is really adorable. <laughs> Seriously. I thought I missed something. Never mind. What? I wasn't expecting the hook to sell you doing that. Not that I'm gonna complain. Okay. If you reel in while swinging, you actually lose height. Okay. I had to check. Wasn't sure. I would like to get up there. <laughs> if it gets out. How, though? Wait. Oh! Just jump! No! Actually, hold on. There is a way. There! That was actually really tricky. I shouldn't break those below me. Hi, Hyper. This is a very Wireland Forest game. You might be interested in it. I'm gonna do something really dangerous, don't mind me. Oh. That's not nearly as dangerous as I thought it would be. I added Kristoff's for the mod roll because. Hyper made a complaint about how there's not any mods in the middle of night. He's kind of right, but Kristoff's is a regular night viewer, so I was like, you know what? Kristoff should have it rolled. Oh, yeah. By the way, I know there's a combo system for collecting a bunch all together, fruit-wise, I mean. Not that I'm very good at that, because that requires speed, and I'm not good at that. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm ready to level now. I didn't get everything. That's okay. I did get all the, uh, thingies. I, I got enough. I, oh, you don't have to get. Okay, I appreciate that. So there is a fruit goal, but it doesn't require you to get every fruit in the level. It does require you to get most of it, but you can miss some and still get them all. I appreciate that. Wait, why is there a pet button? For good reason, there is a pet button. Well, this game is adorable. <laughs> My goodness. I really appreciate you don't have to get every single one. That's really nice. And we opened whatever that is, I guess. So, but there's also... Okay, so... Hey, Pablo, did you know that after you beat a stage, you can play again in time trial mode? I thought so. If you get a really good time, you get a good medal. Gold medal. I'm not going to be good at this. Oh, wow, that's neat. Do I have to do them if I want to save the world? Mm, nah. Site tells me the time trials are just for fun. I mean... Okay. So yeah, three. you get five gems in the level, the bonus coin to unlock a bonus level, and then two coi two of the gems for just getting enough fruits. Now that I have a time trial, which I'm going to suck at. Let's give it a shot. I wonder how tight it is. I don't know. Let's find out.
I don't actually remember the path, but I'm just gonna assume I remember the path. I'm gonna act like I know the path. And hopefully I know the path. We'll see. Should be a fairly obvious path though, actually. That's okay. I don't care. Check. Time trial seems pretty fair, actually. What's that bottom one? What's that about? Is that just personal best? Ah, it's personal best. Pet. You barely made it. I did, but it felt pretty fair at the same time. I mean, if you, I do know, it might be harder, more complex levels. So, um, let's see what this bonus level is like. What's this about? Well, this actually gives you a lot of time, this one. This it seems like it does. Yep. A little bonus stage is a treat. That's the name of the achievement I just got. A little bonus stage is a treat. Well, dogs do like treats. All right, so. Blast zone. Sounds good. A lot of you take a hit and still get a gold. Did, did taking a hit, wait, did taking a hit reduce my time, by the way? was it? Is it one of those time trials where if you get hit, you can take damage, you lose some time of your time? That would make sense if so. Oh, I didn't want to pay attention. Climbing. One complaint I have, actually wait, yeah one complaint I have is it's hard to tell how much fruit's in the level, so it might be tricky to like actually get all the fruit simply because I knew it was possible to do that. Those time drivers will absolutely get harder. But, but you know, by the first one, I, I, I feel like they want to stay. This is a game that's focused on accessibility and player experience. I don't think they're going to make the time trials ridiculous. Call it a feeling. I think they're going to be a challenge, but I don't think they'll be unreasonable. Oh, okay, if I press down and B, I slide off the wall faster. I was wondering, like, how do I get down from a wall faster? Down and B. Okay. This 
is a very responsive game, but I'm still getting used to how how quickly Pablo goes into ball form. It's, it's a little disorienting sometimes. Yeah, Hyper, what do you think, man? Does this give you Warrior Land 4 vibes a little bit? So sure as hell does, like, the music just makes me feel it really, really strongly, I guess. Okay, there's a checkpoint that way. Which means I'm not going that way. One complaint I have is that it is possible to, like, hit points of no returns in levels, which it's kind of a shame when you're trying to collect things, but... Ah, hold on. There's more. There's more goodies. This way. Oh. Wait. I feel like I skipped a bunch of stuff doing that. I help. I, I, oh no. Also, hello. Hello, Yeet. I could surge. I want to restart the level because I actually think I missed some stuff. I'm not entirely sure. I wasn't expecting that secret exit to just drop me at a checkpoint. Also, I do like that they said the time trials are literally just for fun. I appreciate that, actually. I mean, there's probably no reward for doing them, besides just that little completion. That little completion medal. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't miss shit. I thought I did, but actually. I don't appreciate that anyway. Oh! Okay, I was right. That just goes. Okay. I'm just thinking. So if I'm correct, if I go back down, yep. Sorry, I missed all this stuff down here, basically. Yeah, I even missed this. So yeah, that was, I, I, I my hunch was correct. I missed a whole bunch of stuff. And this lays in the same place, though, so... We're good! Okay, if you wall slide, you cannot kill an enemy guy. I should be good now, though. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> just, just to randomly say. Okay. 
A magic person! <laughs> what was that about? Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna make one complaint. As it's fairly obvious to me now. The game is not, does not choreograph its points of note turn too well. So in other words, you can very easily miss stuff on the first run unless, you know, unless you learn the, learn the level. Which is not the end of the world, it's just... <laughs> well, thank you, Yeet. Also, this music and everything, it feels like Wario Land 4, but it also feels like... It at the same time feels a little bit like... Holy crap. There we go. I knew I had to go back. It feels a little Sonic-y, too. The music kind of gives me Sonic vibes, actually, too. Makes me think of Sonic Before and After the sequel. They, they use a lot of voice clips, too, in their music. Okay, I should be good for progress now. You think the music's too sampled? I feel like it. You know, honestly, I would. I would say that it's oversampled, except for it feels like it blends really fucking good, in my opinion. Or does it feel too busy for you? What's up there? Oh, that's how we had a cave room, right? It is pretty sample heavy. I just feel like. I don't know, it gives me. You know, actually, now that you mentioned the samples. That just kind of gives me uh, Sonic Rush vibes, really. Because that was heavily sampled music as well. A lot of voice clips in that. <laughs> Fair enough, you, you, have a good, you have a good. You have a good day. I can agree with that. There is sure a lot here. I, I can agree with that. Did I miss the carrot first? Did I help it in it? That would make me sad. That'd make me really sad. Well, too heavy blood. That's fair. I really hope I didn't miss the care person. I'm gonna be very sad if I did. Hmm. Bell's up there. Oh, there's a care person. Okay. I think I am satisfied with that run. You have a good one, Yeet. Did I just get every single one? Okay, sure. <laughs> I'll take that. What's nice is that there's no extra, like, benefit for gaining all of them, so you don't have to. <laughs> the pets. I don't think I'll try and trial. Well, why don't you visit me on the boat sometime? I'm very old and learned, and I'm sure you would benefit from the wisdom I could share with you. Ooh, and I can play my video game. Pablo, you're not a very good research assistant, are you? No, but I am good at video games. Video games? Ha! They'll rot your brain, you know. <laughs> Alright, so what am I going to do with the boat? Aside from build stuff.
Ah. See all sorts of cool stuff underwater. Nice. Some of these books are super old. Not as old as Null, though. I wonder what's on TV. There's no time. I've got to save the world first. That looks familiar, the little thing on the bookshelf. I'm not supposed to play with the toaster anymore. Not after last time. But you don't really play with a toaster. It's not really the It's not really what you do with a toaster. Just play catch with it, I don't know. Like Oh, the different rooms. All cute. This game is heavy on the cute. <laughs> Sitting is good. Hey, is this. Wait, can we play our video games? We can actually play our video games. Boomerang Bandit. Right. Okay. Cool. Is that a bad thing? Not at all. <laughs> I didn't get points. Oh. You don't get points by shooting things, only if you boomerang them. So everybody knows boomerangs are more stylish. This actually seems pretty easy overall. Oh. Oh, I got hit. <laughs> I say I like how I said that right afterwards. I was like, I was expecting the boomerang to come back a little faster, actually. I should have just shot him. Nothing would have stopped me. Should have been unlocked. Isn't there something you should be doing? <laughs> I got 10k, 10,000 points and the game was, the game has chided me with an achievement. Nice. Nah, this is the most important thing. Oh, vultures. That's new. Look, as long as my video game has new content, I'm not done. Vulture spawn? I'm not done. So that means new enemies. <laughs> Actually, got a pretty good knack at this now. Just splattering the points, sure. This is strangely entrancing. <laughs> when will I stop? I guess when I lose. Thing is though, if I if I do ever get a spot, I can just start firing my gun wildly to not die. Look at that situation. I kind of feel like going for a hundred k first light.
Which, at this rate, <laughs> isn't much of a task, I think. Holy fuck! 6400! Yeah, especially with combos like that. Yeah, you lose it. Okay, if anything gets past you, you can take the damage. I thought so. I figured I would check, because I didn't feel like bothering. So yeah, this multiplayer goes on infinitely, then. Hit it! Now just to lose. Lost. I'm satisfied! <laughs> Yeah, the score potential just keeps going up. There we go. Fucking owned that. Let's take a nap. After a hard day of Game Boy. There we go. <laughs> I met my goal, that's all about I care about. Let's pop in here then. Hi. The professor has a lot of books. Some of them even have pictures in them. Nice. So Ah, Pablo, my intrepid research assistant. I'm glad you came to see me. We have much to discuss. I have been doing further reading to this Null character, looking at records of the inventor's creations. I now believe Null to be a mechanical being. You mean Null's a robot? I thought it was pretty obvious, Professor. He was made of metal. Not just any kind of robot, Pablo. One created by the great inventor himself. Wait, you think Null was made by the great inventor? As in the inventor built him? Out of stuff? I imagine it was a touch more complicated than that, but yes, precisely. And I'll be the, the last living being who knew the great inventor personally. The knowledge he may possess is priceless. It would advance my research considerably. <laughs> Professor, Null shot at me with a laser. I don't think he's going to sit down for an interview. Well, yes, I suppose it would be quite awkward the next time you meet. Nevertheless, you must attempt to learn something from Null. Think of the possible historical insights. No, well, I'll try and save the world first, but if I get any historical insights, I'll let you know. <laughs> well, at least you know they figure that out on the way. Whoops. I'm sure Tony wouldn't want me to look at your project before it's ready. Hmm. There's a hatch above, too. I wonder what this is about. Seems like there's an airplane blueprint of some sort, too. Tony, how are you doing? Hey, Pablo. I'm just checking in the engine, making sure everything's running smoothly. Oh, cool. Well, it looks like the big spinning thing is spinning just fine. Yeah, the drive gear is operating correctly. Hmm, seems like there's cool exposure from a blaster radiator vent or a malformed conduit break at bracket. Tony, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what any of those words mean. Uh, okay. The engine's too hot, so I'll have to cool it down. I understood that. Good luck with whatever it is you need to do. Thanks. Good luck with all your jumping and swinging around and stuff. <laughs> Pablo ain't the smartest dog, but he sure is lovable. Oop. Looking good. Good. I wonder, uh... Ah. You must be the boss fight. I was kind of curious how many levels to all boss. <laughs> Looks like, uh... Five. Okay. Well, let's keep going. I want to get to the boss. Mushroom Grotto. Okay. Okay. 
What's this do? Oh, it's just a bouncy bounce. I will say, when I see her a new song at some point. Not that this music's bad or anything, just, yeah. Wait a minute. These mushrooms are silly. Oh, hold on, you can break those? Yes, you can. But only if you do it at a certain height. Another adventure statue. All right, looking for any grappable sillies in that area. Or not, in fact. Huh, oh, what are that balloons for? Oh, I guess just a sh little shortcut. That's nice. The way Pablo moves when he's not ground pounding straight down in the air, it can be a little hard to land on enemies without a ground pound. Not impossible, just a little hard. I keep thinking that grapple speed would uh, keep if I, like, extend or retract, but it actually completely kills your momentum. I keep thinking it will keep because I'm used to another game that that's how the grapple works in that. Water. Oh, nice. I remember what game. I just remember a game with a grapple you could adjust the... You could retract or expand it and it would greatly... Oh wait, no, it's worms. I'm thinking of worms, I think. Well, that's one example. By the way, listen to the music. It's a little glitchy underwater. Or a little warbly underwater. Worms grapple was... Yeah, that's the first thing I think of. I know there's more goodies, but I assume we're going to go around. Yep, looks like I'm right. Though, I'm still curious about Sight. Before I go that way, I just want to check Sight. Oh, actually, no, there's just a statue up there. I guess that's just... I guess there aren't... I thought there was fruit up there, so I was like, I wonder how I get up there. No, there's just a statue. I guess it's just for decoration.
Just looking around for goodies before I go. Nope. Okay. Oh no! I had it, but then I didn't. I appreciate they put the first just bouncing around. It's pretty great. That's a curious nothing chasm. Probably get dropped down there somehow. Ah. There we go. What's this? Speeder and Master Chrono Quote. Oh, do they put up? Do they? Oh. Do, maybe people who win the time travel get a statue. <laughs> Like, maybe the person with the best time gets a statue? Hi, Beerus. Charm is still streaming? Well, you, you know the answer to that, you came by. Alright, what, what did I accomplish doing what I did earlier? Ah. Hmm, bonus coin. Mission... Mission understood. Alright. Holy crap! That was pretty awesome. Second light. Yes, I know. Look, I was stressed midstream, so I streamed extra time. That's how this works. I, don't ask me entirely the logic there, but that is indeed the logic. There we go. Mid midway through the second game, some uh, somebody casually pointed out, Oh, by the way, did you know your Poke World video cuts off 20 minutes early and isn't cut right? And I was like, what? My last Poke World video. And I was like, what the fuck? And like, because that was three days ago. Four days ago. And I was just like, why did nobody tell me? And I was like, actually kind of bothered. Oh no, watch out. And then I... Pause and I cut the video again, but my OCD, like, that's just fucked with me, actually. So now I have to, I had to do a re upload and replace it. Oh no. Ow. Which sucks, in my opinion, because we're gonna lose all the comments and views we had before, and. I didn't want to discuss this again tonight. <laughs> Oh, actually, I have his- I actually saved his comment. I actually saved his whole comment. If he wants to take that, uh... Hold on. I sent it to you. I have the whole thing. Thanks for letting me know about the notifications. I guess I'll have to go fix that. Or rather, I have to go read that. Hold on a second. Hopefully I don't drown while I'm doing this.
So you got rid of my notifications, okay. That's okay, let me just... Now that since you told me, let me just immediately check notifications. Also, Beerus, DMs. Uh, DMs, man. I, I just sent you a text file of his whole comment that he had on the previous video. So he'll need to change the end of it a little bit. I saved it on the off chance that he wouldn't notice or be awake in time. Wow, I got- what the fuck? Sorry, I got a comment. Dragon Drive Trailer, Bandai Entertainment Incorporated. 14 years ago I said, my friend just trashed this video saying the English was sucky. What do y'all think? Today I got a comment saying your friend is wrong. Thanks, I need to know 14 years later. <laughs> Me and my friends have been each other's throats for over... 13 years about this. <laughs> like, what's... I'm amazed when I get responses to really old comments of mine. That's insane. I don't even know that video. Though it is kind of funny to see 14 years old, 14 years ago me. Where I leave comments asking random people what they think about how something else. Like, like that's such a, that's such an old me comment. I'd never leave a comment like that today. Not that it's really a terrible comment, just yeah. Oh, so the rest of the notifications you cleared are not too interesting. Somebody commented on Metal Saga Part 2 saying, Replay Feed of Furry, only do Girls Bubble Virus mode of 5 Bowser 3 thumbs, you can get a cat game over on Sandbox. And make charms and stocks, play Sky High Curious. He's usually like, Make all this play by the pound content, and I'm gonna say it on a random video that doesn't involve that. Love it. Excellent. There we go. You did not you did not remove much of worth by clearing the notifications. But I caught up on it all the same. Thanks for bringing it up. I see beers. My old stuff I have out there because yeah, I realize the internet can attack you for things you said 10 years ago or whatever, but, uh, whatever. I just like to have my stuff out there, honestly. Also, Salasabin. Salasabin? Thank you for the raid! Hello, you have a cute thing there. What's that? Salasabin. Nice. You seem to be a puppo of some sort. Very cute. Dog, if you need to sleep, go right ahead. I'm not gonna. F Certainly. Oh, oh! I just. Oh, the gem symbol next to the. Oh, the gem symbol next to the fruit tells me if I have the gems. So I have enough fruits to gather both of the two gems. It tells you right there on the on the HUD. I didn't even notice. See those little dots? Look at that. I just figured that out. If there's zero dots, that means I did I did not earn a gem. If there's one dot, I earned one of the two, and if there's two, I earned both. Hell yeah. Information, understand. I information comprehends them. Oh, so I thought I missed something back there, but I guess I didn't. I'm still missing two gems, though. Ow. Oh, shit. There is stuff over there. Oh, I died. Oh, I thought I, I, thought I would have the... I thought I had five hits, not four. <laughs> I did not have five hits, I had four. Oh, it saves all your progress, though. That's good. That's nice. But yeah, hello, Salasa. And folks. I am playing a good game. With a good boy. And I'm also a good boy. There's a lot of good boy energy up in here. Okay, so I learned some. Ugh. How do I. There's like stuff up there. I want it. Ah, there we go. Requires a very specific angle. 
There we go. That's the last gem. Oh no. Back to the drawing board. That's exactly what I was concerned about. Let's look back. There's a checkpoint here, but I can go back further. Fortunately, I'm not locked at the last checkpoint. I can go back a ways. Whoa! That was a little fast. Yeah, maybe, oh! Oh! Oh, what? Oh, wow. I found that by accident. Holy fuck. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, that's a devious one, that one. How would I have... Wow, how would I have figured that one out? Okay, well, I died. Well, I didn't die, but... Okay, now I'm good. Charm is a good boy, and I'm getting all the same thing as he's a good wrist. I can be either. I can be or. I guess I could be also an. These mushrooms make silly noises, and I appreciate it. They sound like they're complaining. Nah. Done. Good. Also, Yam, how did you know there was a secret area behind those between those grapples? I couldn't even tell. Cool, I got everything. Time for pets! Yes, there's a pet command that makes this game even better. Oh. Alright. I'm gonna play until I beat World 1, because I want to see what boss fights are like, assuming there are some. What is that? Up at a bowling store. What's this one? The middle is separate. Well, I guess it was? One thing I do, I do have to say, the jump is good for momentum, not great for lighting on enemies. Unless, of course, you bounce downwards with the be, be, be down. That that helps. That, that helps immensely. Alright, next level. 1-4. Rocky Road. Not my favorite ice cream. In fact, I don't really like that ice cream. Right. Huh. Collect X, gain X platform. Got it. Also, I'm now, like, super suspicious of walls, because after what we just experienced, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, some stuff is obvious, like that. Not this game. Also, Pablo is a derpy good boy, which is pretty appropriate for a dog. I like his personality type they chose. Very dog dog appropriate in my opinion. Kind of what I appreciate in dogs is just the uh, friendly personality. Maybe not the smartest animal ever, but a good boy. Dog approved. Yes. The only problem I have with this game is that it's totally possible to hit a point of no return in a level. And miss stuff. And miss stuff. <coughs> before you do. Ha, huh, that was an interesting area. There we go. 
As a chipmunk, I like this dog. I don't think I realize you're a chipmunk. Hey. It looks like the enemies don't hide. Like, I don't have to grapple off the enemies to get items, at least not yet. The downside of, if they, if they do do that, the downside of that is just... Enemies are a one-time boost, after all. Hmm. Oh, see? If I had used the rocket boost, I would have... Let me guess, I would have missed it. Oh, no, actually, I could have gone back. Alright, that's fair. <laughs> What's this? No, get it. I'll disappear. I mean, I don't know if it will, but it makes me think of... That makes me think of Super New Super Mario Brothers. Nice. Okay, I like that little different jewel challenge. We'll grab them in order. Wolf Dogs cost between 40k to 1k USD to own. Huh. It's actually cheaper than I thought. Oh, I guess I see. If you guys think I'm missing a secret, do call it out. So far, so good, though, I think. I see a secret up there. I really like it, this game. It has a good flow to it. My uncle played this, I would have liked a different song by now, but maybe it's world based. Maybe there's this different song for each world. Wait. How did I. Wait, how did I screw my. Oh, okay. Well, I go back to this. Actually, wait, I don't even have to do that. I can restart a checkpoint. I don't have to kill myself. <laughs> Gabe? Alright. <laughs> had to think about that one, I guess. I get what I did wrong. What I did wrong was... okay. There we go. You can screw yourself there too. I didn't, of course, but you could. Yeah, I start. I'm, I start getting suspicious at that point. That'd be a sucky one to miss. Nothing seems to miss here. I'm like suspicious of these X's now, but everything looks everything looks to be in order. Nope! 
Okay, well, hopefully that doesn't matter. Actually, I think I did that one. Yeah, I don't trust grabbing these X's right away anymore. That butterfly came over to me like it was gonna attack me. I think that was required. Oh, we're good, we're good. This level went really smoothly, actually. I like how they mix in the X. Whoop, well. I like how they mix it in as a puzzle, though. It's pretty good. Nice. The trajectory I chose was perfect. I have to say, what was to the left there? Oh, hold on. I'm not sure I can find out. Never mind. I want to try to jump into the left of that area. But I have no health, so. Yeah, Beers, I kind of agree. There's a few things I have quibbles about with this game. That was one of them. Another one is that... You can restart from last checkpoint if you miss stuff, but sometimes you get careened into a checkpoint and and reach a point of no return at the same time. So in other words, a lot of checkpoints are set up at points of no return where resetting the checkpoint would not help you and you'll have to restart the level anyways. If you miss something. Which I fortunately have avoided happening, but I've come I've had a few close calls. Alright, last level of world one, I think. That's another bonus card. Okay. Cavern crash. Okay, looks. He wants to hit me with things. Assuming I'm above him, anyways. Oh, it's like a rocket grapple. Okay. I do appreciate how little time it takes to get momentum up with the uh, grapple. This is really fast, actually. I think I have a problem is if I want to ground pound an enemy is and they're against the wall, I start sliding the wall. Slide down the wall and I uh very easily Ow. Good enough. I very easily so when you're sliding down a wall you don't hurt the enemy. You have to B slam, basically. I think it's just generally okay to B slam every enemy at this point, unless you can grapple them. It's just more accurate. <laughs> you thought I was rushing there, didn't you? Oh no! Fuck! Exactly. They did what I was hoping they wouldn't. They did exactly what I was hoping they wouldn't. And because the movement is slightly floating, I didn't quite land the platform. 
I don't hate the floating movement, but I do hate it when it's punished like that. Now, granted, I don't need every berry. I probably could skip that, but I don't want to. I I don't like to skip something at the very beginning when, like, yes, there's padding. I can I can I can skip some stuff, but I'd rather not skip one of the earliest things. Who knows if I'm gonna miss other stuff after all. I was really hoping they wouldn't do that, I'll be honest. Okay, I took damage because I was against the wall again. I think that whole... If I'm dropping down and maybe via a wall drop like this, I think it should hurt them. Because it's way too easy to cling to a wall while trying to attack an enemy. If they're against the wall, too. I'm not sure how you're supposed to grab that about taking a hit, but whatever. There's probably a way, I just I'm being too I'm too being too quick to kinda worry about it, I guess. Okay. All's good, that ends good. Oops. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm a little annoyed at the wall climb. It's way too sticky. And while you can press B to go down the wall faster, there's no real easy way to disconnect besides just doing a wall jump kick. But that gives you quite a bit of momentum. Which doesn't feel very comfortable. So yeah, very good. I really do like this game, but I do have a few quibbles with it. Definitely. Definitely have a few issues with how they designed it. I'm a little concerned I haven't found it. Oh, I did find it. Yeah, never mind. Well, it must be all that's in this pool. Our time to go back up now. Obstacle challenge. There. Of course, we do a little spike circuit. There is one up there. Okay. Ah, oh, there's the voice point. Cool. Overall, I do like this game. It just has a few, there's a few quibbles, that's all. I do feel a little anxious when it comes to trying to get all this stuff. I am glad the game just straight up said that the time trials are just for fun. So I don't have to really concern myself with them, which is good. Oh, I thought there'd be something up there. The Mario Red Coins, yeah. Oh shit, right, you can't... You can't grapple red ones for some reason. Don't ask me why. Honestly though, most of these jewels are being hidden pretty fairly. Wait, what's that over there? Oh, okay. I do have a few movement complaints. I, the way the character moves, like momentum-wise, left and right, when he's jumping especially. I wouldn't say it's bad, but I don't like it necessarily. Oh. Well, that's rude. I don't think the checkpoints heal you. Goodbye. Ah. 
There we go. Is there anything else down there? I don't think so. That was a slightly rude enemy, but it's okay. Three gems, one gem from the fruit. I think I'm doing pretty good. I think the progression feels correct so far. Oh, actually. Trying to figure out the best way to capture that. I don't know why I care so much, actually. It's just one. I can probably skip it. Oh, I have to go around, don't I? Okay. That one is going to annoy me, though. Damn it. I still haven't figured out how does one get their momentum just right. Like, I still haven't figured that out quite yet. Ah, that's it. Oh, I let go too early. I let go. Okay, there is something I don't like then about the grapple. When I'm swinging back and forth like this, what do you think my, what do you think my maximum point of momentum is? Where do you think I have the most momentum? I would tell you, if you asked me, I would say it's when your the white streak goes away. See that white streak? I've been trying to jump at the end of that. But no, I gotta do it at the very top. Which, yeah, that kind of makes sense, but that streak was really confusing me. When, that's, when I saw the white streak go away, I was like, okay, I must be losing momentum. So I want to jump when it's, there's the most momentum, so I need to jump a little uh, earlier. But no, it's actually later I need to do it. I wonder why they made the momentum lines go away before you were at the apex of your jump. Because that just confused me and made me think I had to do it earlier than I actually had to. I bet I missed the last gem. Look apart. Seems like there's still a bit of level to go. Ah, oh, there it is. I don't even know how I reached that. There it is. All right. Good night to Chris. Oops, fell too far. What? I like how I grabbed it, but I didn't grab it. Oh, rude. Delay the re delay the inevitable.
What the hell? Wait! How do you do that, actually? It's out of curiosity. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> the bell was always in a safe context before. Now what? Hit it! What the fuck? I don't like that. I, have I been, am I just not physically colliding with it? I can't tell. Alright, let me go do a bunch of stuff over again then. Just because I couldn't hit the fucking end goal. Why is it in midair? All the others are nicely on the ground, but this one's like, oh no, you gotta hit it. Like, what part- I don't even know what part of the bell, bell actually needs to be hit to actually trigger it. I never did figure that out. <laughs> the bell part, I mean... Don't worry about the other stream. Don't concern yourself with that. I have time. I can't. I just can't. <laughs> You do not have time. Yes, I do. I... I don't know why we went from Bell in nice safe location to... Something get in midair also over a spike pit. Like, what the fuck was this escalation for the Bell? Thank you! Holy fuck! You can tell that I have a little trouble with the momentum. Yeah, that was a little bit annoying. No, I just had to touch a certain part of the bell I just never could fucking land on. That's all. Oh, well. What's this? Race, huh? I mean, I'm just gonna keep holding right. That'll probably let me win. Never mind, I, I changed my mind, I got scared. I grabbed it in midair and landed the jump because I delayed my- Oh wow, that act that delay actually matters. That delay th that you get when grappling can change your- I didn't think about that. I did it just out of desperation, it was like, no, don't fall. But it worked, it helped. I need 30, I have 30. Hello. Are you a boss? I assume so. Yep, this looks like the boss. I had a feeling there'd be a boss. It looks like there's a bunch of stuff in the boss stage. 1B, Rex. This is what I was wanting to finish up on. This right here. That's why I wanted to end it on. Hi there, Sol. Looks like it's also a stage, though. Did I just take the forward path? I didn't mean to take the forward path. Hold on. It's over here. Oh, there's something over there. Okay. <laughs> Never mind then. I guess we're going one direction.
Yeah, there's like forced height with the jump. It can really fuck me over, like how I overshot that X there. Like, it. I get why it exists. It's better for a certain momentum physics, but it's worse for certain. Well, certain accuracy. <laughs> basically need to do the bees be down to go straight down. It's like the only real way. Wait. Yeah, like, now I'm, I'm actually, like, legit, like, nope, not gonna touch that. Hooray. Hey, I don't want to touch the X's, though. Unless I know that there's something to grab, you know. I'll grab the X. I'm pretty good at finding the secrets at least. Still shot of bullets. <laughs> I was I was psyching it out. <laughs> Yeah. Huh. Oh, that's rude. I gotta say, the song I think outlived its. I like the song still, but I feel like it outlived its. I feel like it kind of outlived its welcome. What do you guys think? Like, I guess this is probably World One's general theme, and it's gonna change for each world. But this song is way too active to be heard over and over again. It needs to be broken up. I don't mind the song, but Hyper's point is still accurate, and thus. It is one of those songs that can kind of fatigue if you hear it too much. Like after a while, I just want those haze to stop, thanks. So that's the thing about music, it isn't just about creating a good song, it's also about creating a good balance of songs. It's also about not not overwhelming the player with too much action or boring the player with too much, you know, of a quiet drone. You know what I mean. Gotta bounce it out. Ow. Ow. I'm fine. Downtime. That's the thing. Or just a change of pace. I really shouldn't, but... Die. It's worth a bu It was worth a biscuit. It was worth it. Bowser's out, at least. I 
I, I could have avoided that, but oh well. <laughs> Let's see. God, I really hate how I stick to walls. I wish there- I, I would be okay with it if there was some way to just drop down. Like, just release from the wall entirely. I'd be totally okay with it. Every, every- in any game where you stick to walls, you need a quick way to unstick, in my opinion. Quick way to say, I don't want to be on this wall anymore, I'm off the wall now. Yeah, it's not a very long song, that's actually part of the problem, too. It's good, it really is, just... But it needs to be, it absolutely needs... It has multiple problems being played back to back like this. I'm glad I figured out how momentum works, but otherwise I probably couldn't get up this. Also... Oh. Boss time! I assume. Hi. How you doing? No! I finally found you! Pablo! You made it all the way here! You're looking a lot less dead than I expected! Well, thanks to you! You tricked me and then almost blew me up! Oh yeah, that was fun! Whatever! I'm here and I'm gonna stop you getting the cosmic gadgets! Ah, so you've been doing your research. I'm too busy to deal with you now, fella. How about you play with Rex instead? He's looking for a snack. What is Rex? It is great. <laughs> Oh, this song. This sounds good. What if I can actually do the noms? Hi. Run, except for where you don't. Run and attack, I get it. He's very doofy. I don't think I said let go, but alright. Apparently the game thought I did. By the way, remember what I said about sticking to walls? Just kind of screwed me over there for a minute. Didn't, uh, like, actually screw me over, but it could've. I'm out of time because right at this point I need to not stick to walls. This song is pretty good. Feels Sonic of interest. I caught up really fast. I do wish the boss fight was a little more involved. I'm okay with a runaway boss, but I would be it would be nice if we when we have to stand our ground. It isn't just as simple as just whacking it. I would like to like have to dodge some other attacks of it or something. And then tie my attack or something. I guess it is a first boss, but like it'd be nice if you had to time it. <laughs> I feel like you could have added a few more mechanics to that fight. I got the telephone. Now I can call mom. What do you mean, really fast, by the way? Tired? Well, you had to go through a level just to get to the boss fight, so I guess kinda, maybe. 
<laughs> Pet's always a good... Pet is always a good way to level. So, that unlocked World 2. We also got one more boss token, so I guess one more level. It also appears the boat has a notification. But first, let's see about this. Okay. You can really get some momentum if you try. Both stages are worth it because you just complete them and you get three gems. There's not like... And it seems like you need a certain number of gems to get to the boss of each world, so that's the whole point of the gems. Makes sense. Ah, oh that's cool. So this is world one. World two, look at the ocean. Papa, I fitted the boat with a turbo drive. It'll give additional thrust to our lo little mo locomotion protocols. Um, sorry, I don't know what that means. You can now travel quickly to worlds you've already visited. Good to try. You can go back and collect gems you might have missed. How do we do it? Why? Oh, okay. Uh, it's also keeping track of how many time trials I do, though. I mean, again, they, apparently they're just for breaking rights, so I'm ignoring them. I'm not really big on time trials unless there's a really good reason to do it. As much as it pains me to have that one of six, but... I do like how the ocean changed colors, though, yeah. Apparently it's how you do it the boat too, so I'll check check that out. What's new? Hello. Hey Pablo, how's saving the world going? Well, I caught up with Null and got a cosmic gadget! I had to find a robot dinosaur! You had to find what? A robot dinosaur! It was really huge and it smashed everything! I had to run away really fast! I almost died! You should have seen it, it was really cool! Pablo, I know you're saving the world and I super appreciate it, but be careful, okay? I care about you, you know? Anyway, I have to get back to doing important things now. Bye! Okay, bye! Okay, bye, Tony! If there's any more dinosaurs, I'll let you know! Cute. <laughs> he has a love interest and he doesn't know. I can tell. Oh, wait, what do you have? Oh, yes. Ah, oh, Pablo, you've collected a cosmic gadget! Marvelous work! From my research, I've identified this as a cosmic phone! It allows the user to communicate over vast distances. <laughs> Professor, what's the difference between a cosmic phone and a regular phone? Hmm, it's to do with the uh, cosmic energy and the, uh... Pablo, why don't you run along? I'm very busy. You don't know, do you? Of course I know! I have a headache. I don't feel like explaining right now. <laughs> Pablo, Pablo used insight for once. Nice. Silver Game Boy. She doesn't know. It's a f better telephone. It does telephone things, but better. Hell yeah. Well, I guess I'm done for now. So, there's five cosmic items, right? If I recall. If and I remember correctly. Four? So there's four worlds, but probably a world after that, too, I'm thinking. Wow, I could- <laughs> look at this! Hey guys, do you just want to skip World 2 and immediately fight the next boss? I have enough gems. <laughs> no. That's kind of good though, I kind of like that. If you just don't feel like doing a world, skip it. <laughs> it's like, ah, I don't like going to the beach, fuck the beach. <laughs> That's pretty good. But uh, yeah, let's see here. 
So, <laughs> Grapple Dog. This is really cool. I do have a few problems with the movement system. I think the wall, st the wall stick should be less sticky. Uh, and I do feel like the jump is well designed for forward momentum, but not very good for precision. I guess it's a little bit of the Sonic problem, where Sonic doesn't land as well as, say, Mario does. Though, despite that, I kind of feel like this controls looser than Sonic. Like, if I'm trying to land on an enemy in Sonic, I feel like I can control the momentum better than in this game. It feels like the momentum in Sonic is a lot more nuanced, while Grapple Dog here, the momentum's a little more... I don't know, it goes... it, it switches between levels, I guess? It, it feels more... Hard to control. It feels like it switches faster, and there's not as much momentum build up and de de acceleration and deceleration isn't as smooth as in Sonic, so that creates some problems for me. But I still think this is a really great game, uh, and <laughs> it's definitely worth your time. Just keep in mind that controls make take a little getting used to. I'm still not used to it, and I did complete the whole world, so <laughs> eventually I might get used to it, but. <laughs> Yeah, Grapple Dog. We'll, we might come back to this one. This one is this one's pretty dang cute. We gotta say that. But I hope you guys enjoy, and maybe we'll, we'll see what's up with the dog later. <laughs>